Have you ever considered soloing Spire of the Watcher? Cause I'm here to tell you, it's a piece of cake! The Vex are friendly, and we even have our own Sanctified Mind petting zoo! We do ask that you ignore any open electrical currents and try not to stray too deep into the Spire. You'll regret it! Accidental or intentional interaction with any wandering supplicants may result in death or dismemberment. Falling into any open pits or fans could lead to light-threatening injuries and dismemberment. Bringing friends or help of any kind may result in hostility. Rasputin Enterprises is not responsible for any injuries or fatalities experienced while inside the spire. With the launch of Season 19, we got ourselves a shiny new dungeon. Naturally, I thought, hey, I've soloed dungeons before, so this new one can't be that hard. At the time of filming this, the Bungie API was down, which means that I can't use DIM or the Destiny app to transfer weapons and armor as I need them. Also, I'm not yet at the power cap, and I haven't completed my seasonal artifact, so all that to say, here is how not to solo Spire of the Watcher. Commencing transport. Stop! No! No, no, Sentinel! Forgive me. The funny thing about this is Dim is not working. <laughs> Probably be using some assortment of these three weapons. So like I said earlier, my seasonal artifact is incomplete. This mod in particular would have been really nice to have. What? I grabbed Merciless because a lot of people were recommending it. I also grabbed Arbalest for obvious reasons and Grand Overture because, well, I still don't really know. And pretty much everything else that I already had in my inventory. With that little prep out of the way, we're ready to hop on into the dungeon. I love this new grenade launcher though it is so cool i don't think that worked i don't think that worked okay 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 this is already oh my god <laughs> yep 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 yep. oh but i'm about to die okay <laughs> i wanted to try mana core because well i just really like it but unfortunately it just didn't work oh my god <laughs> so i quickly realized that these cyclopses were going to be a nuisance swapping over to taipan made dealing with the cyclopses a bit easier but still a problem shouldn't miss it again Naturally, our blessed was the next best step, which ended up being the move. We're gonna do this because Dune Marchers has seriously underrated ad clear potential. There we go. Wow, that was uh, it's that one. Wow, that's a lot of dudes. All right. Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm out. Oh, and those are supplicants. Sorry. Father, it's me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Putting supplicants in this dungeon. Fucking mean, man. Oh man, one more boys, one more. Let's go! Alright, that was good. Oh, let's not, let's not die down here. Dude, that'd be so fucked. Oh, thank god. Why that's a respawn restricted zone, I have no idea. I died so many times. Third time's a charm, right? Third time's a charm. Oh, fuck. Oh, let's go, let's go. Up here, there's a terminal. There's six of these. If you get all six of them, you get an increased chance at the, uh, the bow. The air somewhere. Yeah, right down here. So, if you're wondering... Oh boys, there he is. Look at that goober. Yeah, this this whole fucking dungeon is just us opening that door for him. He's gonna go over there. He's gonna wait for that door. Yep, look at him. There he goes. It's just like uh, that one mission in Halo 1. Oh, uh, fucking... Oh, what's it called? The beach mission. Oh, yeah, I see it. I see it. One of the other terminals. This is three? Is there... I'm, I'm gonna guess that the chest is over here, maybe? Yeah, look at that. I didn't even know that, that was a thing. And also, here is the fourth of the six right here oh uh, there's another one right here actually no it's in the next room so the fifth one it, here it is here it is and just like that we've reached the first real encounter which really shouldn't be too challenging oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. okay thunder crash oh shit fuck we're so gonna die oh my god okay there it is it's always like the ones that are closest that you miss there we go all right come on get out of here oh no i saw that coming that was scary um, oh, come on. Oh, fuck you. This one first. The last two minutes of I was okay, you okay. okay. Alright, chill out, chill out, chill out. Oh, I'm blind. Alright. Again, this dungeon's mechanic may be, like, really straightforward, but I think it's good because it's so brutally challenging with, like, the amount of ads and stuff and the types of ads that there are in here. You're uh, back with me, <laughs> and now I'm on to all oh, the Not, not huge on- Oh, god damn it. Did I just fall? Oh, that was lucky as shit. <laughs> I'm curious though, for those of you who have done solo dungeons, which one do you think is the hardest? All right, first real encounter in the bag. You know what we should do? Instead of making merch, we should launch food. Like the last terminal is right here. This is number six. Have you ever wanted to be a cowboy? Well, now you can. It may be snowing on Earth, but it's always sunny on Mars. First boss. Oh, oh. Is he gonna- Oh, no. <laughs> All right, Akelos, 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 the Consecrated Mind, whatever you want to call him, we now arrive at boss number one. I wonder, could double nade launchers, could that be something worth trying? Probably not, right? You know what? 
We're gonna try it. I'm too curious. How many banners do I have? I should have checked that. Uh, 48. Okay, that's hopefully enough, right? I went into attempt number one with double grenade launchers just for fun. Now, you may be wondering, well then, how are you gonna get the eyes? Can I just melee this? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, f I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die before I even get the chance. Oh, I can't even get the chance. <laughs> Holy shit. I am so dead. How the f- How am I gonna do eyes? That's a- Good ass question, bro. That's a good ass question. Guys, you know, the damage will be nice. Oh man, look at that. I'm just hitting buttons. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get these eyes. It's fine. I had to try. As expected, that didn't work, so I swapped on over to a scout rifle, which should make the ads easier and the eyes possible. Oh wow, I might die. I'm gonna have to thunder. Uh, no. Oh, I'm pretty sure that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, that was huge. That was oh, fuck. That was... Oh, it's based on how fast... Okay, so we need funnel web. <laughs> so how long your damage phase is is dictated by how quickly you're able to shoot all the eyes. And all that means for me is that funnel web is basically necessary. This is also about when I realized that these harpies can be really, really annoying. What are you talking about? Oh. Better? Better? I mean, you know, we, we got damage. That's good. That's good. Yeah, you're right, it's a long fight. Eventually, we got in a full rotation and started settling into the loop. That is, until I fell through the floor. Oh, god damn it. Oh. Once again, Arbalest proved to be the way to go. However, this boss has a lot of health. This encounter really isn't that hard, it's just a serious endurance test. Spire of gritty. Spire of sturdy. <laughs> Spire of Sturdy. Oh, that's actually hilarious. Oh, I didn't even get that. I fell through the floor again, and while I lived, this was followed by an incredibly scuffed damage phase. What are you doing? You what are you doing, bruh? Get away from person. me, bruh! Congratulations. Oh, he's about to blow. Aw, oh, damn. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Just sock it. <laughs> sock it. That's fucking funny. Teleporting all over the damn place. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, not bad. Man, you ever just wanna fuck a dude? Wait a minute! A bit with that nade, um, but that's fine. How often do you have deja vu? I've been getting it less and less lately. I don't know why, I can't actually remember the last time I got deja vu. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. No lie, boys. Probably our best damage phase so far. Definitely our best damage phase so far. He's at half. Oh, such a nice finisher. We all have that one finisher where, like, you get it and you just you get a little hard. Just a little bit. What? <laughs> this hasn't been the cleanest, but it's okay. It's okay. Inner eyes. What the fuck? Okay, well, this is going to be an L damage phase. We just need to take the eyes. Nothing. All right. Yeah, we probably can't get enough damage in one more. Unless we switch to Izzy. Oh, get away from me. <laughs> oh, get away from me. All right. Oh yeah, it's gonna be two phases. Might even be three. <laughs> Fuck, dude, that wasn't very good. Oh my god. Oh, come on, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Oh, I missed, no! Oh, I just threw off my rhythm, man. It's okay, one more, one more. No! <laughs> come on, boys, for all the marbles. I need the biggest T crash right now. Oh, come on. Let's fucking go, dude. Ooh, holy shit. Can we solo Spire of the Watcher before I get a migraine? Let's see. I don't know. A whole nine damage phases later, man. My god. Anyway, while I get through this next part, I am curious. Which dungeon do you feel has the best replayability? Personally, the lack of replayability is what kills Grasp of Avarice for me, but I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. Where is it? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, I forgot about this under some stairs could it be under any of these stairs look around try to find it uh let's wow oh we could do it fuck where is it where 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 yes let's go yeah melee the vents gotta shoot the vents okay oh wait oh those vents ah. not that one i'm, I'm feeling nope there we go. Look at that. Oh, that's a cool chest. That's a really cool secret chest. Is this open? Oh, f no. I don't have to redo that, right? 
Oh god, fuck. After doing this sequence again, I made it through and landed at the final boss. Unfortunately, this is where the run really takes a turn for the worst. For the first attempt, I put on some random gear just to get a lay of the land. I forgot everything Not stays- bad. Oh my goodness. One moment. Oh man. Shit! I then swapped over to Void and figured I'd give Merciless a shot. On paper, this encounter is really not that hard, but the sheer amount of ads and how fast they repopulate just takes it to a whole new level. And, of course, the addition of supplicants. That doesn't help at all. Okay, after trying this loadout for a while, I realized that my final web was only 1561, which is really strange to me because I use it all the time, but whatever. I would infuse it, but of course I don't have any upgrade modules to do so. I swapped over to Wither Horde because even after its nerf, it still slaps pretty hard. I also went back to a scout rifle for an easier time with the wires. Gotta get some regen, fuck! One thing I noticed is that because I was hanging back with a scout rifle, I kept getting myself into this loop of killing the minotaurs only for the boss to just cut me off. What the fuck? Yo! <laughs> Blimey, man. Oh, hi. Oh my god. After some time, I reached my first damage phase, which was great, but it served as a reminder that A, bubble is not the move, and B, this dude has some health on him. Why'd I reload? Oh my god, dude, that's so bad. This is, of course, where we ask the age-old question, survivability or damage. Given how bad my DPS was, I swapped my hothead for Storm Chaser. Oh my god, man. In my next damage phase, I had a third realization, and that is that his crit spot is very small so I can't really reliably get in super solid damage with an LFR. That, and I'm sorry, Bubble, but you're just still not the move. T-Crash might have to be the move because it's not enough damage. It's, it's just not. Ultimately, I decided to put on Cura's Thunder Crash. It's not quite as safe as Void, but I really need those extra damage numbers. All right, that's, that's at least serviceable. Unfortunately, I'm still hitting him with the full force of a dying worm. This went on for nearly three hours, and in that time, I tried just about everything I had available to me, because again, Again, Dim's not working. Damage is so hard to come by these days. No, please no, bro. On the bright side, I got some upgrade modules to the season pass. This would mean that I can bring Funnel Web in line with everyone else, but unfortunately, I dismantled my infusion fodder, so it'll have to wait. I put on Solar and would have pulled Lorely out of collections, but again, no infusion fodder. Now, I haven't used Solar since Season of the Haunted, so even this took me a while to get used to. Oh. Oh god, that didn't kill? What the fuck? Was me. Good luck. Okay. You are not destroying oh this facility. Bro, Dim is down. You think I carry around Vigilance Wing with me? It was about here when I finally remembered what Roaring Flames was and why it's so good. Yeah, Roaring Flames! Oh my god, my best friend. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god, get out of my fucking- Somewhere in here, I also got a helmet drop, which meant that Laura Lee was now on the table. God, this is so stressful. Is that Funnel Web and Fusion fodder I see? I finally brought Funnel Web up and continued trying to make Solar work. I know how good it is, but for some reason, I just couldn't get a handle on it. God, I'm gonna have a seizure. Holy shit, dude. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I don't want to admit defeat on this boss. I really don't. But this is so hard. Like, this is really not easy. Dude, can I get a restraining order on these supplicants? Coming up to me asking for a cupcake and shit? Oh my god, dude. That's still baby damage, bro. Okay, um, this is fine. For those of you who don't know, somehow by now, Luchi is my girl. Oh my god. Ooh, boys. Dude, my life has been spared so many times in this run. Dude, just kill me, end it. I don't, I don't like this. No, fuck. Dude, I asked for it. My fellow Americans, I assure you, we will complete this dungeon. Dude, I'm gonna go insane. This dungeon is breaking me. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! So it's mental health when oh my goodness! Sharp with downwards trend. Sharp with downwards trend. Sharp with downwards trend. <laughs> you can peep emblem when you can. Fuck you, Caracals! I'm about to summon a demon to do this dungeon for me. What? The goal is to convince the Vex that you don't care, because if you convince them you don't care, then they can't predict you. Who <laughs> is on that spicy McChicken mentality? What? He literally just looked at that like, please excuse literally anything that I say for the rest of this dungeon, because I'm, I'm, I'm gone right now. Like, oh my god, I'm broken. I'm broken, and I can't be fixed. What do I even do? What do I even do? They're just supplicants everywhere. Oh my god, I hear them. I literally hear them. I can't, I can't, I can't. 
I can't get a fucking- I can't! <laughs> I just can't! Oh my goodness, I'm not even concerned. All right, just get out of here. I just want you gone. I just- I want you gone. I literally have two more- Oh my god, I almost didn't- No! Diamond Edge! Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> fuck you. Not- not awful. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Oh, Diamond Lance. Things were going surprisingly well with Stasis. I thought it might actually be my salvation at this point. Oh! 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 Oh my god. Second phase today. I'm the Nor! I'm the Nor! I'm the Nor! Oh, oh my. Oh my god, no. Just sit the steps of stacks. <laughs> At this point, I was seven hours into this dungeon, and I felt it. I gave it one last run through just to see if Syntheseps affected behemoth damage, because I just, I didn't know, which I don't think it does. Oh, I didn't think there were two- I think I'm gonna call it quits here, boys. Dim's absence really limits my options, and after seven oh hours, I had to throw in the towel. I might come back to this, after all, I do really want hierarchy of needs, but for now, if you've soloed this dungeon, give yourself a pat on the back. It ain't easy. If you're planning on soloing the dungeon, <laughs> Either way, if you enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated, and it helps out a ton. Also, if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I post fun Destiny-related content on a weekly basis. I'd like to give a quick shout-out to our latest channel members, Obsidian, Soha, and Hana Mizuno. Your support goes a long way. Regardless, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, night, or whatever it is, and until next time, Guardians, goodbye.